I go to jail for a few things and it won't be and that. And it won't be that. Nah, <laughs> it's not going to be that. It won't be that. that no, sir. Violence only. The world, well, no, money only for me. It won't be that. Oh, yeah, not. Nah. I mean, I'm going to go to jail with some money. It's crazy you said violence mm -hmm. only, right? I was speaking. I be talking to too many girls. Another another female. Well, honest, but it was, this is a scenario. This is a safe space, bro. Yeah, I know. You know, that's why I say, yo. This, this is a scenario. Mm-hmm. I asked a girl <clears throat> if a nigga violated you and like really like violate you, disrespect you, maybe hit you, whatever. And if I'm your boyfriend, what would you want me to do? Would you want me to like really press him and like have a problem and do something about that? Or would you want me to, you know, allow you to go to the cops and let the cops handle that? Wait, what? What she said though. Her answer was she would rather the her, whoever her boyfriend is will go to the cops and let the cops handle that because now if you go and things escalate now let's say you kill him you kill him he's dead and you in jail facts all oh, because of vagina. over pretty much now she fucking somebody else. and now she fucking somebody else <laughs> giving Correct. him a crazy sloppy now she killing somebody else man. like or somebody killing her Rather, son, I'm not gonna lie. That shit but, really. But now, hurt. but now, as a man, She'll if a nigga violates your girl, your wife, how else you gonna feel? I don't know. I think this. That's really not a conversation. Like, if the shit, if you don't react in the moment, you gotta let it go. You gotta leave. But what if you wasn't there, nigga? You getting in the car to go run around New York or Atlanta and look to look for a nigga that did what to her? What happened? What did he do? He. Violated her. When I say violate, what I don't mean. mean you you being mean? too vague, man. You gotta give some more context to what you're saying. Okay, let's say that same. Let's say that same nigga raped your girl, beat her, hit her, beat her up, some crazy shit. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about like violation to the most. Jail. But we was talking about that, and I said, well, if the nigga, if 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 the nigga raped you, of course I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna kill this nigga. Yeah, right? I go to jail. I go to jail for that. You go to jail for that. Yeah, hundred percent. See, and her and her perspective was she felt like you shouldn't go to jail for that because now y'all married or what? Let's say if y'all had a kid, if y'all got kids or like now, you know, now the dad is being taken out the home. I'm I'm walking out the home at this point. I'm I'm, I'm going to jail for that. What about you? <sighs> it depends if I love her like that. To be older, it's my girl. That's I'm your girl. Jail. Your wife, your girl. Let's say your wife. My wife. You gotta I love go, it. I go, I go to war for my wife. I'm going to jail. For my wife? Yeah. I'm calling the cops. For like, yo, meet girl? me at the spot. Uh, Cause it's up when I get there. I said the same thing. Yeah, it's up. And she showed me, I ain't gonna lie. I said the same exact thing and she showed me a whole different perspective. Yeah, but so you, how again, did you look like, at from that point going forward? How did I look at her? Yeah. I see, I understood where she was coming from. She 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 pretty much said, like, yo. You kill him or you do whatever and you go to jail, you know, now that's a part of the problem with the 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 man being taken out of the home. And it's kind of like now, because of an action, I reacted and now what our kids got to grow up with no father or, you know, just whatever's in the home like that's that doesn't take away the, the, the what's the, how you pronounce the word statistic? Statistic, okay. That's going on, you know, in our community. I don't I, know. That's just that's a tough scenario. Like somebody harms your family, cause she's your family at this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she, they harmed her. I said the way. same thing. Like, what is it? Really I was like, about? yo, fuck that. I'm killing this nigga. Yeah. Nigga ain't gonna do nothing. I might. I ain't gonna lie. Violate. I might not kill him. Yeah, like I might not kill him though. But Bro. I'm definitely gonna violate. Let me tell y'all, it's it's easy to say what you will and won't do until you in the situation. Until you in that situation. Very true. Because nigga be like, yo, I might not kill him and, and shit. That one blow might really be the blow to it kill him. It might even be the one, yeah. So you, I mean, shit, you get mad enough, you know, when when a nigga mad, power will be coming out of nowhere. Yeah, it's true. Like, where the fuck I get that from? So what you doing when when that same girl that you you go to war for tell you she. <laughs> She don't really want to be committed like that. Ooh. That's tough. Mm. That's tough. Mm. Yeah, I'm going. I had to go there. Everybody's. That's tough. Niggas is in an uproar over. um Over um 
Lori Harvey? Yeah, niggas is in an uproar. Yo, and, and I first of all, I knew that was gonna happen. How the how fuck you knew that was gonna happen? I knew. I knew. What? I knew. I knew. I knew. How? Because I don't know her personally, but I do know the 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 type. The type what? She's young. She's twenty five years old. Mm-hmm. She grew up in celebrity status, mm-hmm. right? She literally dated guys literally for fun. She dated Diddy. She dated Future. She dated all the fun situations. So then now when she dated a guy who wasn't just fun, she probably enjoyed herself with him, but he was a more, he was an established guy who wasn't on that type of energy. How you know what he was on? I mean, Michael B. Jordan ain't uh, on future energy, bro. I don't even know what that means. Nigga. Word, that is mad. Yo, you've been vague though. Nah, it's like, it's like you don't know. <laughs> you wait, don't, wait, wait. So y'all telling me future don't y'all don't understand when I say future know, energy? What I'm saying is you don't know either one of these niggas. So like how you know what they in like what it is. I'm talking, I'm talking and first of all, you don't even gotta know a person fully to know the energy they give off. I'm talking about the energy they give off. I ain't saying who they are on the inside or who they are, you know, behind closed doors. I'm only talking about the energy they give off. Right, and the energy future gives off is you know future have fun, fuck bitches, do what he do, like that's the energy that future gives off. That you, I don't, I don't expect this from you. I'm being real because you judging niggas based on. I'm not judging him. You are. <laughs> How is that judging him? What I'm saying is you making a, a you judging that's a nigga still, based on. Nigga like, I'm judging a nigga. I'm talking about the energy. The energy future gives off from it, what it though? Could be, like it could music? be me. It could be. It could be me. Like let's say me, right? I hang out, I go out, mm-hmm. and it go, and I be around different women, talking to different women, right? Mm-hmm. And a female could be like, yo, the energy he give off is this. And I, I can understand that. I respect that. That don't necessarily mean that it got to be who I am, but that could very well be the energy I'm giving. So you think that that's what, what made her not want to commit? No, I'm saying clearly he wanted to commit. Do you think she told him that from the beginning, though? Probably not. I don't think so. Like I'm not looking for nothing serious. I don't think so. Come on, he wanna he wanna he wanna play. I would hope he wouldn't have played himself and been all out, you know, in public with it. If that was the case, well, he couldn't fell for. Her. Could have been one of those. Like she's so, like, whose fault was it at that point? His. Okay. If she told him that in the beginning, it's his fault one thousand percent. All right. But I don't think that's what happened. I think they both really was going for they both really enjoyed each other and as time went on they really openly said fuck it like this is what we are and i think over time i, I think they said like a year or so they was together mm-hmm. i think she probably i don't know if it was her who broke it off or who or they probably had a conversation had a mutual uh understanding and you know she probably was like yo I, i'm i'm still enjoying myself and i'm i don't want to be so what you think down. is like the top three reasons that chick would not want to commit anymore facts what you think? Top three reasons a chick would not want to commit. And I'm asking you with the puff in the back because you're <laughs> laughing at everything that we say. Top three reasons? That yeah, she or, wanna... or, or a top reason that a chick would not want to commit. Because that's not of the quote unquote norm. Chicks normally want to commit more than guys. But y'all understand, this is why I feel like her age and everything plays a factor. Not that age really matters, but like she's 25, bro. So you feel like her age is part of the reason why she didn't want to commit? But she was already committed, no? Was she? She was in a relationship. I'm just that asking. Don't mean, you know. All right. I mean, see, it's it's levels to commitment. What if, and this and this crazy because neither one of them really never made a statement. But what if he he was like talking marriage to her and she was like, hold on, homie, I ain't really hmm. what I'm what I'm on. That could be a thing. What if? So what's the top reasons? What you think? I think. Um, she may want to explore life a little bit more. What she that mean? Wanna... Explore life or explore dick? <laughs> a mix of both. Nah, because it could be I a mix of both. Yo, I hate when, explore she life. Be, I hate when people be said, like, yeah. explore life. What the fuck do that mean? Said, explore life. She may she may feel like she's missing something. It, it could be something that he's not doing for what, whatever it is that she's missing something. That's bullshit. You feel like that's... How you feel like that's bullshit? I feel like that's bullshit. Explore life, like... That's what I think. Like, if you... If you really, if 
It's, it's something that he's not doing that she. I don't feel think it's like, something that he's I don't not really doing. Like he's not doing. It's I just, think she just want to have fun. Yeah, like she want to have fun, bro. She ain't ready to be tied <clears> down. <throat> Miss back here, you laughing a lot. What do you think is a yeah, reason why? Head too. She, what do you think is a reason why women do she, not co- want to commit? She's not anymore. ready to leave the streets. Or why a woman wouldn't commit to a nigga that she's dealing with already? Right. And, and, and here go the crazy part. He's a he's an attractive guy, right? He he makes really good money. Right, mm-hmm. it ain't like he no regular nigga. So, <laughs> no, no, no. We 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 need to get back to her. You don't got to be on camera, but what is the reason why women? Why wouldn't you commit to a guy that you've been dealing with? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think time was the problem. I don't think Yeah, so. I don't know if that was the issue. I don't think that was their issue. Mm, time. That's the only issue? That's the only thing? That's the top one? So time is very important. Quality time is one of your things. You know, it's crazy, right? And, and, like, I think in that situation, it can only be two things, in my opinion. It can only be if, like, like Kev said, she just want to... Like have fun and date other men and like stop. She don't want to stop her her uh, her flow of like enjoying guys. Or the only other thing, because he got everything else. So the only other thing in my mind could be that I know a woman will fall back is if like sexually, you know, he wasn't really doing it for her over time, and sexually maybe he wasn't fulfilling her. Yeah, I don't want to get in. I don't want to. I don't, I don't judge. I, don't I can't comment that. on I'm, niggas. I'm, I'm not talking about him sexual. per se, but y'all said what's some reasons what make a woman stop, you know, stop so dealing with the, You think stop, a woman will fake that for a year? I think a woman will, will will hold it down for about a good year until she realizes that, like, yo. This not getting no this, better? This, this not, yeah, it's not. I I do think a woman could really, really. Well, until she find better in the midst of it, and now she Right, and then no she more. got her side nigga. Let me tell you. Facts. And you just fulfilling the I do the think a woman could really yeah. genuinely love love a nigga and, like, rock him knowing, like, his dick is trash. I believe I that. I believe that. There's a lot of, um, you know. People that sell the dream. Nah, real talk. They sell the dream to the highest extent. and um, Real talk. They got their side nigga. I day. believe that part of whole... That's real. Nah, but I'm that's being real. real. That's, that's just what it is. I mean, it, it happens. It happens. I actually... Yo, it, it happens. It happens. So tell me about the time it happened to you. It never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> but... But it never happened. That to me. nigga was saying that shit like from experience. experience. Like, nah, 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 no, 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 no. It happens, no, no. bro. It do happen. I know a couple that I actually happened to, and he and I, I want to say the niggas reason. Be lying. What you mean? What you niggas mean? A couple lying, you know, yo. huh? Niggas no, no, really be no, no, lying. No, no, no. Real talk. It wasn't me. Was, <laughs> uh, so let me hear the story. Let me hear. Let me tell first, the story. Ahead, first, ahead, first, ahead, the story? First, let me hear this. First of all, I don't even be having like strong commitments like that for for it to even beat me. Let's. Whatever, go ahead. I, I don't even be like. All right, let me hear the story. What's the story? A couple you know. Go ahead. It's a couple I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me let me get that straight. It's a couple I know, but um, he 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 got sick. It wasn't even like his shit wasn't working no more. He got sick, and throughout him ha- get you know having his sickness, certain things happened you know with him, with his body, mm-hmm. and. So you are you telling the story from his perspective or her perspective? Just hers, because I, I mean I know him too, but I'm listening from I know her. She's she's a, actually a family member of mine. Okay. So she literally, you know, as she loved him like she's like that hard like loved him, but she also loved sex. So she had a side nigga. Facts. She had a a, a few. <laughs> <laughs> real talk, yo. And women really go crazy. Real talk, and she and I'm dead. And she's my she's my cousin. Like she's dead, my cousin. Oh, she gonna laugh when she see this. Fuck okay. it. She she and she be after she and by this, laugh, I mean she, she gonna this? be sick. Nah, she ain't gonna be sick. She gonna know. I'm talking exactly about her too. <laughs> she gonna know. Hmm. But she, and she straight up was like, yo, I, she dead love him. He actually eventually died though. God rest. Oh damn, his soul. Be he died. Yeah, he works. died later yeah. on, but. Real talk is like, you know, she literally put up with him until the day he died, though. How's that different?
I mean, okay, he put straight, and, straight out the gate, like, just, trash. just trash. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. do you talk shorty through it, like? <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, listen, no, nah, 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 because Wait, I explain. What do you mean? Listen, 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 listen. I'm confused. Because women, women be saying like, oh, like, I was, this nigga wasn't satisfying me, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. where do you get to the point where you try to tell a person like, yo, this is what I like. Uh, but I don't feel like it got to be that kind of conversation. Like, mm. it could literally be, yo, this is what I like. This is the way I like it. Um, but what if he still can't do the way you like it? But we're not even going to get there. I'm talking about just that that conversation. Like, dude, nobody cares about the actual conversation. Who actually has the conversation? Well, I think I think the problem is from, from the beginning, people don't normally talk about sex from the beginning. Like, before we even have sex, like, have a real conversation. And I'm not talking about have phone sex. I'm talking about, like, actually have a mature conversation about sex. What you like, what you don't like, what's dudes, what's what like I think that people Do should, you do that? Yeah, yeah I, I do. You're oh. fucking lying. I swear I do. <laughs> Niggas be lying, bro. I'm gonna say that yo, shit for the rest I of this, this shit. On my life, I literally This nigga sit there with women, a checklist like yo, so I do you like <laughs> nah, I don't have a checklist. Like, come on, bro, that's not I, realistic. I, I promise you what I'm I do, saying I promise is like, you. Any woman I ever spoke to, you can ask them, seriously. I asked them, yo, what are some things you like or what are some things you don't like? What's some things that, you know, to actually See, turn you on? See, that's some shit that a nigga d- just, that just want to fuck is going to ask. No, I don't really just be wanting to fuck. You a horny I, nigga? Why no, you even, don't even... What I'm saying is... what I'm, I'm The reason I'm asking is because people be talking about not being satisfied after the fact. It's but not talking about a journey. But this one, I'm, I'm saying. You, nobody don't be in the midst of, this, of the relationship like, yo... Um, do you talk them through it? Like, I'm but, not... I'm but not, see, what I'm saying is... Miss back here, you could... Um, have you ever had that problem? Yeah, like... Right. So like I don't expect you know, probably give me that. Because you probably don't, but the niggas that do cool. However, like But that's so the you reason ever had but that's a problem where God couldn't satisfy you. And he just was kept fucking up. Kept fucking <laughs> kept up. Fucking kept fucking up. up. And thought he was killing shit. So did you tell him or no, did you just so why didn't you Damn. tell him? This is what I'm talking about. But how would you know? How would you know? But all right, so how did you know he couldn't handle that from you? Because you seem like a cool, laid-back person. Well, how you know it went that way? Word, you just assuming. I don't know, great. I assume. I would never know that. <laughs> Yo, I, I ain't even gonna and hold that's you. That's what I be talking about. <laughs> listen, <laughs> I'm a, look, listen. <laughs> Say that, yeah. You know, you gotta create that kind of energy. I ain't gonna lie. I think if you fucking, you should be able to talk about it. You should. Correct. You already sharing your body with him? Yeah, like you should be able to. T- Yo, that shit Especially was. Especially after it already happened. Yeah, like, like it's, it's up now. You the damage talk- is already You done. might as well talk about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, we fucked. That happened to me before. It was whack. That happened to me before. No cap. She told you it was whack? I was in high school. <laughs> I was Are in high school. Are you trying to tell your age on the line? <laughs> I got to because, like, <laughs> This wasn't chrome me. <laughs> this was high school Biggest me. Side, I know how to eat pussy now. <laughs> I know how to, you know what I mean? Nah, but I was in high school, real talk, and she was older. She was like in her early 20s. I was like 16, 15. Mm-hmm. I got it. I got the plug of my older cousins. was like, yo, you know what I mean? I had a little cuz with me, uh, you know? And she literally was like, f- she fucked with me. And she literally went to my older cousin and was like, yo, y'all got to teach your little cousin how to fuck. Straight up. Mm. <laughs> how did it make you feel, though? Nigga, I was 15, 16. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, fuck. I, like, I was the joke. Like, everybody had, like, it was a fun joke. Like, mm-hmm. everybody joked and laughed, but I ain't, I didn't yeah, that's care. Different. But that was the only time, like, but after that, though, what I will say is it made me pay attention a lot more, though. Mm. Because to that, what exactly? It made me pay attention a lot more to a woman's body and when, um, you know, you. Sometimes they they could fake, I guess. I don't know, but you could kind of you tell. can't tell if a woman faking. No, you can tell. You can. Kinda tell. You could, that's what I'm about to say. You could you could kind of tell because how the body language, the body speaks for itself, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And it ain't but so much faking you could really 
do. Unless you just don't even want to pay attention to. That's what I'm saying. Unless the niggas just don't give a fuck and only care about his niggas just be an autopilot. Have you ever hold up, niggas hold up, 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 hold up. Have you ever faked it with a guy? No. I can't. Imagine niggas is like. <laughs> You'll be like your Yo, boy. You'll you be imagine? like your boy. Your boy, you gotta get up. I'm not gonna lie. If I look down at a girl, she look like this. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm out. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm yo, pardon me. Maybe like yo, what you say? I'm gonna head out. 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 So like y'all ever asked a chick like if she nutted? Like after you've been finished fucking? If you ever act mm, I've asked I think I've asked before. I never asked. I ain't gonna lie. Um no nah, come on, you a liar. You asked. Did you nut? Yeah. I never asked that. Like, yo, did you nut? I think I asked before. Of never course. asked. I asked that before, but I asked that to say I feel like you should know. You not necessarily. You don't necessarily. Son, all women don't come off um penetration. Yeah. And all but women. I'm saying you should know if a chick nutted or not, though. How? No, you should. But I'm just saying. How? How are you gonna know? Like you her, said before, her body language, but things her that nothing, she does. Her nothing don't necessarily have to always show. Like how are you gonna know if like. Women. So you saying you fucked a chick before and she was mad quiet, but she was fully <laughs> no, satisfied. No, not about no, First no, 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 no. Mad but she quiet. Could, <laughs> yo, she could moan. Because he said, "How would you know?" She a serial killer. But bro, the screaming don't mean that she nothing. Yeah. I know that. That's right. Yeah, like, but if she quiet, that's gonna get me tight. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna punch I, her? I, I, quiet? I, 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 like, like, I would pull right out and be like, bro, I'm, done. "I'm out of there too." I'm like, done. Like, what are you doing? You okay? All right. How about if she's quiet, but the way she. Nah, you gotta moan. The fuck? Are you serious? Nigga, I step his shit up, son. She yeah, nah, quiet? nah. She quiet, bro? Nah, get up out of there. Yeah, Leave, that's, King. That's deep. Quiet? <laughs> Imagine, bro, having that's sex deep. and she's. Mm. She not even doing that? She mm. dead quiet? Quiet is, being, is different from being. If she's still and quiet, that's different. She's not Yo, you too. really do got a lot to say, and you over there on the sideline, my boy. You're a horny nigga, too. That know he be, he be going through a lot of shit. <laughs> he, be really, he really got a lot to say. But I don't want to hear. I'm sorry. Moan. Give me something, right? Come on, shit. son. Something. Like, let me know. <laughs> let me say, give, me some, give me some type of energy. Let me get some class participation. Yeah. You bugging out, sitting there quiet. Well, well to, be, to keep it real, it's no way a woman can't give you some type of like gesture on that she's being pleased. No way. Her body is too sensitive, like too sensitive to not give you hmm. something. Body hmm. too sensitive. You you ever touch a woman clit and she don't at least do like something? She gonna do a little. Oh, like what's what's going on? <laughs> nah, let him finish. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him, sorry, he was giving a visual. He was like, "All right, you know, me just he look he 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 parted it." He, you ever noticed like right before you about to start? Like, this nigga a freak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, nigga drew a freak. I mean, that's what you was doing with your work wife before y'all got caught. That's that shit right there that got you caught, nigga. Damn. That's what got you caught. They got jammed up. Yeah, they got jammed up got at work. Jammed up. Mm-mm. That's mm. never fuck up the money. Not over no vagina. To me, nah, you nah. Bugging. You can't say that though. Niggas get niggas get caught slipping all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel them. I'm not doing it though. He lying. You never fuck nothing that you work with. I did once, and I'm not <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> one nigga and done. I, nah, don't fuck up the money. You did it? Yeah. yeah. One time. Of course, of course I did. Every nigga done did it. <laughs> of course. Every nigga of course. Done, you know what I mean? Nigga say, yo. So do you feel like having a work wife or work husband is cheating? Yes. No. I do. Cheating on who? If you have a woman. It depends on what you are doing. Let's, let's say, for example, you have a wife, mm-hmm. and you have a work wife or work husband. Well, Wait, but work wife. Rewind. What is a work wife or work husband? What What is that? It's your wife when you get to work, nigga. Yeah, but what what is that like? My wife when like what is that detail? Come on, bro, stop. All right, so I don't know. So my definition of a work wife would be somebody you care for more at work than you do your other coworkers. Facts. So somebody you do the extra mile for, like bring coffee or food, you are going like fake lunch dates but or whatever. Is that is that a work wife or is just like you know if you do it to one specific work? person? Yes. all the time that's a work wife. If you're doing it to one specific person. But y'all don't like, like each other, though. Of course you do. 
kidding me? Of course, there's always some flirtation going on in that situation. Nah, flirting and liking somebody is totally different. That's what I'm saying. Like, which one is it? You like that person. I like, think you you flirt full on. Like you, but do you talk to her? Like, do y'all do y'all really like communicate? Of course. Yeah, that's your person. So that's that cheating. So if if you just flirting, it's not. I mean, everybody. What flirting. is your definition of cheating? Anything that you're dealing with with the intent to go somewhere or do something with. Meaning, if I'm speaking to this woman with intent of one day smashing, I'm cheating. That's cheating. So if you fuck by accident, it's not cheating. Ain't no fucking by accident. <laughs> so this, so what the fuck is that? What was that? What is this nigga said with the intent? What the fuck are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. If I'm talking to a woman with the intent of wanting to do something with her, nigga, I'm already cheating before I did the act. I'm cheating already. So what if you talk to her like casually from and then you smash 10 years later? That's still with intent? Bro, I was cheating back when I was in a relationship. And 10 years later, if I'm if I'm still in that relationship, if I got out, then I was regardless to what? If That's I'm a speaking to a woman. And I'm and I have intent on wanting to smash her. I'm cheating already. No, you're not. I don't know about that one. You're not cheating until I'm cheating. you. Nah, because what you talking about? What you mean? You could talk to a woman you're attracted to, if even if you're in a relationship, right? You could talk Bro, to a woman. You yeah, hold on. With the intent, with the intent of what, wanting when you to say smash. with the intent to smash, when you say you, already talking to her because you know you want to kill, you know I'm talking to her so it could go somewhere. Okay. Sure. That's the intent. That's my intent. My intent is to speak to not not me just casually saying hi and bye and hey what's up or what you are you coming to work today or you know with with no real intent and just one day it magically happen. I'm talking about if I know you lining it up. I'm lining it up to kill mm -hmm. nigga I'm cheating. Facts. What's your definition? Anything um you can't show your partner. That's cheating. Or you will be afraid to show your partner, mm. like, ah, oh, this could go left. What I don't want to show, show them some shit, though. That's not cheating if you could show them. If you feel comfortable enough to show your partner and you feel like nothing is going to go left in your household, then you're good. But if you're scared to show them or you're nervous to show them, then it's cheating. But what if you could show them and Shorty, you know Shorty going to hold it down, Shorty know your whole situation, but you're still clipping her? Because that happens too. Mm. What can your girl show you? <sighs> yeah. I'm, for the record, I'm single, by the way. But Let's what can she up. show you, like, you know, if she if she existed? Mm. Give me some examples. I don't know what you really mean. All right, so your girl come, like, she in the crib and her phone, like, ringing, and it's ringing back to back in front of you. Like, you like, you, do you touch your, would you touch your girl phone? I've done it in the past. I won't do it again. I don't feel like it's a smart So move. now, being where you at now mentally, right? Mm -hmm. It's ringing and it keep ringing. And she come back in the room like, oh, that's Jonathan, the nigga that um, I be flirting with at work. Well, first that's of all, no she's not going to say the nigga I be flirting with at work. She gonna she, say, I feel like if she say that to you so boldly, she don't respect you. Facts. Just like that? No, no, no. The nigga I be flirting with at work? I, I be flirting with? I'm just using, I'm using that as oh. the, the information that she's giving you. Like, what you going to do? What do you do with the information? Like what's this about? What's what's the relationship? I'll ask her that. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if I'm not cool with that. I'm not gonna even front. I'm not Listen, cool man, if it ain't a nigga that was already a friend, that was like platonic friends already, it shouldn't be no other niggas in your phone. You be fucking your friends, your homegirls, platonic like yeah. regular? No, yeah. no. I'm just. If I call a girl my sister, if I, I say never she my her. real homie, nigga, that's my real homie. I'm just asking because niggas be saying platonic friends and niggas be like, no, I'm talking about girls. regular homies. I ain't talking about you know the, the the fake shit. I'm talking about real homies. Like that's my real homie. I ain't even I ain't touching her. Like Asia, for example, Asia, my real homie. Fact. I don't even look at her like that. Shout and Asia. she's beautiful. She was just here, but I don't like Asia. I don't look at her like that at all. Like that's my nigga. Right. Feel me? Does she throw the alley to you for other chicks? AZ, well, yeah, AZ, AZ is like she's my nigga. I don't even know how no other she way to put those. it. Like mm -hmm. that's my that's my dog, and she's beautiful. And I see, I'm mad that you had to put a name on it. Cause what if she threw it though? Bro, that's my dog. Are you gonna kill? He no. lying. I'm not Are gonna you gonna you? kill? I'm, I'm, I'm mad that we talking about it because now is. I'm being put on name. 
But you lying. I put the name on it because it's Asian. she's somebody. She's what? somebody that is very pretty. She's beautiful. And she's my homie. So let me ask you this. Have you ever been physically attracted to her? No, never. You're not lying. one time. That's on, that's on my so mother. So before y'all got close, you never like, damn, she look good. That's on my mother. I never looked at Asia like that on my on my soul. Right. Yo, Jay, wrap this shit up. <laughs> I'm being real. He's fucking lying, bro. Wait, why 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 is that hard to believe? It's not, bro, I, I don't, don't feel like it's hard to believe. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I'm being I just, so I'm I don't being believe dead that. ass. I'm being dead ass serious. All right. That, that's 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 on that's on everything. I, I think love. niggas react to shit um differently. So like, bro, you you acting explain like explain what you mean. I feel like some niggas could 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 test the waters right and see what where they could go with a woman, how far they could go, right? And then when they see like, all right, this is really just a friend situation. Like they just pull back, right? Niggas, some niggas don't have a problem with leaving it there, like and it being it just being cool, huh? So wait a minute. Wait, wait, let me finish what I'm saying. Go ahead. Some niggas don't have a problem with leaving it there, but don't but don't act like that's where you where you was at when you saw her. Originally. From like the that's gate. crazy. Don't lie. When I saw Asia, when I first met Asia, it first of all, when I first met Asia, we debated in Brick House mm -hmm. about the music, you know, like like it literally wasn't no, it never was no, oh, she look good. I want to see what's up with her. Never, not one time. Mm. Now here's the thing. I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought that up. Cause now the producer Kev looks like, like it's hard to believe you. So, so, so I really noticed. I really noticed, nigga. So that's, that's fine. Why. And you really know me. <laughs> I really noticed, and look, nigga. And Kev acting like a man can't just be look at a woman without always like having some type of interest in her. I'm not saying you had to have the interest. That's not what I'm saying. Like the interest to pursue. What the question was. Were you physically attracted to her when you first seen her? Not when, no. not when you got to know her. Yeah, when you like first bro, seen her. We took like, if, like if she walked through the door right now, you didn't know her. You when didn't I, know when, I, when I first when I first seen her, no. Now there's a bunch of women I could say for me personally that I when I first seen them, it never was on that type of energy at all from me. See, he trying to like skip. The, I'm not skipping. I'm being real. You skipping the question. I said no. All right. I y'all asked me a question. I said no. Now I just think you lying. I'm, I'm asking. That's fine. You could think I'm lying. <laughs> I'm asking y'all a question. Y'all telling me there's never been a woman that, regardless to her appearance, she could her parents she could look good that off the gate like you never looked at her like that. There's never been a woman like that. Nah, I'm not I, saying it's not possible. I'm, ask, I'm asking y'all. Sure. This is a personal. I'm asking y'all sure. a question. That's not. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not possible. I got two girls like that in my life. They like my sisters. And not Legit. one time did you even look at them like that? No. From the very beginning that you met them? Correct. All right, then. See, there you go. That's that's exactly how I feel. I personally don't believe that about you, but I agree. Okay. That <laughs> it's possible. Like I said, I believe okay. it's possible. Okay. Now, the difference is, though, Kev, for you to say I don't believe that, you would have heard me tell you something before, even way back then. You would have heard me be like, yo, Kev, son, she da 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 And I'd be talking shit, so you know I would have said something. Yeah, but you, like I see, you, you know, I don't want to do this because you're really say... my mans. Like, I don't want to violate you. <laughs> now you don't want to violate me. I don't. Me. I don't want to violate this nigga, like, because you a horny nigga. I am. I am. That I, I will So it's mad it. shit you didn't tell me. So? That's what, what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's mad, it's mad shit you ain't tell me, bro. It's mad. All right, I am a horny nigga. That, that is true, for the record. You feel I, me? I'll like, take that. That's, that's why I'm like, I hear you. But, but I don't that, believe but, you. But all, but, jokes uh, aside, but all jokes aside, this one, I'm being dead ass. All right, whatever. You got it. Shout out to Asia. Shout out to Asia. That's my dog. All right, do you feel like your platonic friends, their job, to a degree, is like to throw the alley to you, to, for, uh, to other women, like nah. for other women? No, nope. that ain't their job. That's not their job. That's not that's not their job. But I do feel like you know if that's my dog, you know, you should throw the alley from time. It's, it's okay to give a nigga an assist. This it's no different than you know if I know a joint that let's say Kev might want to holler at, and I'd be like, yo, yo, my dog want to holler at you, man. You know, he think you cute. You should go say something to him. Thank or look, you. he gonna come say something to you. However, you know, I would do it for one of my niggas. So if the homies could do it for one of the homies and she the homie, why not? I feel you. The real question is, would you do it for her? Would I put a dude onto her? Yeah. Would you be like, yo, my my homegirl wanna holler at you? I'm talking about like, I'm What's not talking about. What's the guy code on that? I'm not, see, that's what I'm asking. I'm not talking about a nigga that you already know. 
A nigga I don't know. I'm talking about a nigga you don't know. Because clearly, if Shorty gonna throw the alley nonsense, it'd probably be a girl that she don't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about a nigga you don't know. A nigga I don't know. You don't know. I'm to your homegirl that you really care about. You know that she she eyeing this nigga. She think this nigga cute. And like, you gonna throw the alley for her? I would. Because my shit is really platonic, so I don't care. Personally. But you would feel comfortable being like, yo, homies, you know, my homegirl, she want to holler at you? I mean, I don't mind, personally. What about you, Kev? I don't give a fuck what my homegirls do. Like, have fun. Enjoy your life. But would you... Would you would you set to play it for her though? Those that's a different Yeah, if it's thing. somebody if she asks me to, sure. If she asks you, you'll yeah. you'll plug it. Yeah, I'll plug that. Even if it's a nigga you don't know. Yeah, like how else she gonna get to know the nigga? That's real. That's real. A nigga like I would do it too though. I ain't gonna lie, I'd probably be tell I'd probably tell her to put her location on, you know what I'm saying? But I would do it. I would I, I would plug it. Shit get spooky out here. But would all right, so but would you would you would you would you let her but you say put your location on, would you let her like lead a spot with the nigga? She grown. I can't let her do nothing. First Man, of all. you can you kinda can. I'm just I can't let nobody I would, I would, do nothing. I, I would hate to be the like the cock blocker in that situation. But then Cause now you look like you wanna fuck. Definitely. You, you know look what I'm like saying? a hater. So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought you that look was like your a homeboy. cock blocker, you look like a hater at that point. But at the same time, you know, what if you genuinely just want to make sure you, you know she good? You gotta just let you gotta let that slide. I ain't you gonna just lie. gotta let that play out. Yeah, you gotta let that play out and just hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know those. what? Yes, that's a new one. Yo, man, <laughs> put that location on. Yo, and man, good yo, luck. yo, 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 bro, yo, bro, take care of her, bro. Take care of her. Just good luck. Hope. Tell her good luck, man. And hope that shit. Uh, she want to leave with the nigga. Yo, good luck. And hope, and hope it and hope it uh work out. <laughs> Facts. Good luck. Just pray that she make it home. That's it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's yeah. The niggas is spooky, man. I don't know. But this is why the reason I even started that whole shit was because I asked if she told you think she told him from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm not really looking for nothing serious. And we said it'd be his fault if if she told him that. Right. Because this is why I asked if do women listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause niggas tell women that all the time, and they get mad when they don't get the results that they want. That they don't get the, when they don't get the results that they want. It's like, oh my god, you're not moving like a nigga that like me. And it's like, I like you, but I told you from the beginning, like I wasn't trying to go there. I'm not really looking up for nothing serious right yeah. now. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so in relationships, so this you gotta have devil, like this double is where the conversations. Double standard come because it's like, but, but, but I want to play devil's advocate. And I don't know if this is true or not, but I have heard a lot of women say men don't normally just come out and say that. That's bullshit. I, I have heard women say men, they go with the flow and, and try to, you know, do all boyfriend-girlfriend activities so, until so, it come up and then it's like, oh, nah, well, now nah, we just friends. So, so from I'll, your definition, what's going with the flow? Like, I can't speak for everybody, but I your know me. definition. Me, myself, I've been in situations to where, like, I didn't come right up front and be like, nah, I don't want no girl. But I, I, you know, hit her up, you know, every day. Um, but why make sure she that? was good. Why you do that? That was the, the toxicness in me. I don't know. That changes just because you liked her? <laughs> I did like her. 100%. So what's toxic about liking somebody? What, the, so the, the reason why it's toxic is because the fact that you like her is nothing wrong with that. But the fact that you're not letting it be known up front how... How you want to move with her? That's where it becomes toxic because now she get caught up in her feelings and mm -hmm. she like you and she want to deal with you. And in her mind, you her nigga. In your mind, you like yo, that's my friend. Mm. That's why it's fucked I up. Go deep. That was that's toxic. Yeah, but I never told her. You never told her what exactly? I never told her like yo, I don't want to be in a relationship, but I'm doing relationship shit. What's like what? Relationship What's relationship shit? shit? Please. So relationship shit is uh, pretty much how you how you move with a person that you would move with with your girl. So like example, I might want her to, you know, wash my clothes or do shit that I will, you know, you you will have your girl do. Um, if she if she's there at your crib, you might want her to clean up or you allow her to stay at your crib even after you leave. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot of shit that niggas do that we be wanting these females to do, and it be, it be girlfriend shit, but we don't want to have the, 
have the real title, the commitment to go with it. So if a guy tell a girl, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm going with. I want. I just want to go with the flow. See what happens. But then he mm-hmm. does relationship shit. Who's wrong in that situation for falling too deep? Mm, it's a good is it question. the guy or the girl? A good question. This is why I said women don't listen. But you can't really say she don't listen. You can bro? How? If I t- if a nigga tell you like, yo, I'm violent, right? I'm violent. Mm-hmm. I Take told that. you I'm violent. Take that. Take that shit for what it is. Like, yeah. Don't overlook nothing he said. Don't overlook nothing he's saying. Don't don't put yourself in the position to be like, I can't believe you hit me. Bitch, I told you I'm violent. Like I dead told you that. Now you shocked with a black with a black eye. Mm-hmm. So so that 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 sounds like how you told me earlier that like you pretty much blame her now for the nigga hitting her. I'm not blaming her for it, but she's crazy for being shocked. You crazy for being shocked. So she should just expect that. You should. Expect that. You so, should. So, so if I be like, if I tell a girl, yo, man, stop playing me before I smack the shit out of <laughs> you, right? She should not take that lightly. Yo, first of all, the fact that you'll say that to a woman, and she, she should take that as a sign. Like, wait, why he talking to me like that? I'm, all right, cool. Let me stay out this nigga way. But, but in her mind. It might be, might been niggas that said that before, but never really did it. And that's where she fucked up. That's where you <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> that's where you fucked you, up. Uh, some people is, I'm going to say what I'm going to do one time, Look, and then the next time is action. Real talk. Some people is, real is talk. action y'all right never, away. Y'all, y'all never got mad at a woman before? I'm like, yo, like, stop playing me for I really, like, like. I don't know if I ever threatened a woman physically. Like, You never crazy. said that? I ain't gonna lie, I have. I said that, but never did nothing, though. I might see, have that's my point. You see that? Before. I said that and never did it. Now, what if you was the nigga that said it to her and never did it, and then I came and I'm the nigga that said it to her, but I'm really ready to do it? She so, should not take it lightly. This is what I'm saying. She shouldn't take yours lightly either, right? No. When a she person didn't. tell you something, I think you should listen to them. Especially if they say, especially if, she, if you say it and it's not forced. Yeah, like if we just if we just, if we just have a regular right, conversation... Know, like, like nigga, be like, bitch, yo, I, I wish you would. Like, like on some. And by the time you a... get there, you should expect to get hit. Mm. At that point, that's deep. Nah, you should expect it because it's like I don't think it should click in your head. Damn, this nigga told me unsolicited. Like I didn't even ask. Nigga told me he violent. Unforced. Nigga gave that's you. The key. Nigga, nigga gave me I information. Gave you information. I gave, gave you information. It was not forced on how to move with me. Or how to like handle me, or how to be around me, and, and what to expect. But does that make it right? No, no, I'm not saying, that's not what we talking about. That does not make it right. I'm talking about for for that double standard where people go like, or like now people are saying like, it's men be wasting women's time, like, right? Oh yeah, let's talk about that. How do how exactly did I waste your time? If but we, if, I feel like I feel like you wasted her time if you ain't keep it real with her upfront. But this is what I'm saying. Like niggas be telling women like, yo, this is where I'm at right now, right? I might not necessarily be. I'm not ready to jump in a relationship like right right now in this in this particular moment. I don't know what's gonna happen. Right, you never know. We could grow, and then I may change my. But mind. I know now, like that's just not where I'm at right right now, right? And I think women be like, yeah, that's some bullshit. I'm gonna change that. Yes, I, I agree with that. I'm gonna change that. They always want to change the situation. I'm gonna be the one that changes. Just that. embracing what he said, and then I, like I, along the way when he not doing shit that lines up with what they want, it's kind of like that's when they get mad. You forget that this nigga told you, and like, yo, I'm not really, like, right there. I could, I could see that. I could see that. I, could, I could see that because I've been in that. But on the flip too. side, women is like, oh my god, Lori, she, she wasted this nigga time. Women, they've been wasting our time for years. How? Is that even fair? I mm. mean, everybody got their own opinion. Facts. That one. Everybody got their own. See, opinion it's always, one. it's always gonna be, it's always gonna be how they feel versus how we feel because we see things through one war. lens. Yes, it's always gonna be like that. We yeah. see through one pair of lens, and they are gonna see through another. And I think that um, it's crazy because that situation. I don't care what nobody say. I back to what I said earlier. I knew it wasn't gonna. La- First of all, celebrity relationships don't be lasting like that in general, anyway. Majority. Very select few of them actually really stand the test of time, right? And 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 you gotta think. Why do you think that is though? It's, yo, it's so much going on just in being a man or woman in general. So imagine being a celebrity with it heightens everything. 
Just a regular nigga, you could go outside and fuck 10 bitches. Mm -hmm. Just being a regular. <laughs> you could be a broke nigga, go outside and fuck 10 bitches. <laughs> imagine, imagine you now, you famous and you got money. Famous with money? Oh, it's game over. You don't gotta be famous. You just gotta have money. No, but, but I'm I'm talking about the we talking about celebrities though. Like, mm -hmm. so a celebrity is fame. That, that, that's fame, mm -hmm. right? So you famous and you got money. Oh, it's game over. If, as a nigga in that position, do you what do you expect from her? I expect her. Well, so if I ever get famous, right, and if I if I have a if I have a woman, I think I'm gonna be I'm I'm at that point I'm gonna have to let her know like yo I'm a I'm a hold everything down financially. Mm -hmm. Um and I'ma make sure I'm a I'ma make sure that things don't really be out there in the public. But I'm 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 gonna have to be real, like you know. I'm I'm gonna do he's my scared. thing. Look, he's scared. <laughs> what is doing your thing? I'm gonna I'm gonna have sex. He's scared. You ain't saying that to nobody. Who? You can't even say it now, and this is pretend. <laughs> and this nigga said this is pretend. He's scared. Look at this nigga. You know said. what? Because I'm thinking. Because I'm thinking. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. Let me this tell nigga you. said. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for everything. I'm gonna pay for everything. Um, but, I'm gonna make sure that I don't embarrass you a little bit. But a like, little bit. Is it okay if I go fuck other bitch? Like, I'm, come on, you scared? You're not I'm, saying I'm, that to I'm, nobody. Because be real. Because be real. Because be real. You're gonna. You're gonna, the temptation gonna be too strong. Too strong. Strong. Temptation strong, like I said, now when That's you. I'm saying, I agree you, with you, you, but I just don't think you're gonna say that. I'm, listen, I got money. Why wouldn't I say it? I'm, I'm, I you am who say, I am. Don't say it like that. Say it with your chest. I got money. Why spooky. wouldn't I say it? I, I just feel like at that point, in my mind, I'm gonna feel like I got nothing else to lose. I got nothing to lose. You could lose her. Is that cool? I could get another one. Mm. Mm. Talking heavy. That's wow. really how I would feel. I could get another one. Mm. So you don't really care about her? No, about I her. care about her. But the reality of it is, I could get you'll, another one. You'll risk her because you want because you need the freedom. No, to this is why I'm gonna have to have that conversation with her in the beginning because I'm gonna already know. See, like I rather I rather have that conversation and have a certain type of understanding versus. Get caught up, and then you know you hear it from outside sources or some bullshit go viral or some dumb shit, and now not only did I cheat, but now you out here looking stupid. So let I me think, ask you this: I think that's a difference. <clears throat> you highlight a chick mm -hmm. in the space you at right now in life. What are you telling her? Are you telling her you want to be in a relationship? Or are you telling her you want to? Just see how things go, or you telling her you just want to fuck? What you what you telling her? And it don't have to be that exact way, but like which lane you going in? At the point you at right now in your so life. So if I met a woman right now, at the point I'm at right now, and I'm single, I'ma let her know. I wanna I wanna get to know you better, and I wanna you know I wanna I really wanna vibe with you until you know. We see what happens, but the intent is to eventually be in a relationship. What do that really mean? We be really the lying. intent is, is it intent to be in a relationship or the intent to smash first? Which one is no, first? No, my for intent. You? My intent is to be in a relationship. Now, what happens in between that time period to get to that point, or if it ever gets to that point, or maybe it never gets to that point, right? But my intent is to like to get to know you well enough to where it can at least give it a chance to go there. Now. In the in the middle, do I want to have sex? Yes. I, first of all, let me let me let me say this. Any woman out there that I've ever spoken to, and I tell them this all the time: if you if a woman asks me, "Do you want to sleep with me?" or is it my answer will always be yes. Absolutely. I want. <laughs> listen, <laughs> said yes. I yes. want to. No, real that's talk, real though. I want to fuck. We're really down. dead ass. I don't can meet think, you today. Let me think. They don't want to fuck. I want to fuck. Now ask me. What else what do I, I want to do? What I would tell a woman is though. What I tell them is this. Ask me, you're not asking me the right questions. Ask me the right question. And the right question is, is do all all I want to do is fuck. Now ask me that. Because I think that's two different questions. Yeah. Mm. Like, do I want to fuck? You damn, Nick, I'm talking to you. I see your ass. Yes, I want to fuck. Absolutely. But is that all I want to do? No. No. 
So what makes a chick not just a fuck buddy? Like what what characteristics characteristics she gotta have for you not I to just want to fuck? I think if you could be around a woman without touching her or yeah. without it going there and, and it's and it's cool and you could really like spend you could talk to her like. But when cool. you say talk to her, what you mean? You being very vague. Nah, that's I just mean talk like literally like kick it. We just kicking what? it. Like yeah. we could just Regular. sit and kick it. Like if I could just sit and kick it with you and not really like like it literally don't have to be sexual. Yeah. Cause yeah. it could it could be that it could go there, but I'm just saying if it's if it don't go there and I'm still like interested, I'm intrigued, I'm there, like yeah. we good. I mean, I mean, real talk, there's a lot of cool chicks that could just be fuck buddies. You know what I'm saying? Like, but she could still be like super cool and like, you know, fun to be around. But at the end of the day, you really don't want nothing uh to go to, to the next level with her. But she cool as fuck. But and why why you think that is though? Why you think what? Like is she cool? And like know? she cool, she fun to be around. You be fucking, but you don't want to take it to the next level with her for whatever reason. That's weird shit. I ain't gonna lie. What you mean? That's like, happened though. Be, nigga, I don't. Come on, bro. Or you maybe know that. That no, no, no. Happens. I think maybe. I think maybe where I'm you? at now, like before when I, when I was younger, probably like I could fuck some, just be fucking bitches that I don't um have no like. Connection with? Connection with. You know what I'm saying? No, having a connection and wanting to take it to the next level is two different things. You could have a connection, but you can know this person is cool and, you know, it is what it is, but you don't really Sex see yourself. Sex stops? No, you don't see yourself going to that next level with them. There's so, been so they're just a space filler at this time? And yes. a lot of. First of all, a lot of people be space fillers in our lives in general anyway. People be coming through your life and like they take a, a, a space in there until the real situation comes. You you go you know, think about how many women you might have met in one year. You might have met pff, over a hundred girls. I'm talking about just met mm -hmm. in one year. Think about how many if you could go on your phone right now and go through your text and if you look, all the old texts that just started fading away. That's real. Feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a guy could literally go out every day and meet one brand new chick a day. Facts. You know how many different women that is in a week? How many different women that is in a month versus the whole year? And that's just like meeting her and just getting her, her telephone number and, you know, wherever that go, that go. If it don't go no way, it fizzles out, don't even matter. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you if if you really think about it, I mean, for me, my my intent, of course, I always want to smash, hands down, <laughs> hands down. That's I, a priority I, right there for this I can't, day. I can't even. I can't What's, even lie. How, how is that? Where where is that gauge on your priority list? It's not high no more. It used to be high. Don't lie. No, I'm real talk. It's not high no more. So what's changed? So what's the priority? My perspective changed. I think I think the way I the way I uh the way I, I value. Um, people more now. I think I value I value people more. I value um just just women more. Did you go through something that made you want to change? Uh yes, I did. Okay, do you want to share? Uh, nigga, shit, it's a safe space, bro. I keep talking to this nigga. <laughs> Wait, my camera. This is a safe space, bro. <laughs> Come on. Um. Yes, something did happen. Um, this nigga be having tragic stories. I'm just, yeah, I, I hate telling all my stories, right? Um, no, nah, I, I, I just, you know, over time, I just realized, like, yo, I'm getting older, mm -hmm. right? And you know, God has blessed me to where you know I've had had my share of you know fun, right? I've had sex. I didn't. You blaming that on God? I'm not blaming that. That was crazy. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm, he wasn't. Yo. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. He was not. <laughs> that, I'm not blaming crazy. God. I'm thanking God that. I'm thanking God that he. You For know, pussy. I mean, yeah. I'm thanking God that he allowed me to enjoy my 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 yo. Youth. Okay, you know what I'm my saying? bad. I'm not gonna cut you off. That was crazy. You know? Go ahead. That's not crazy to me. I'm. I listen. Wow. Is that crazy? See, there you go. I'm, yo, I, you know. Imagine being in church like, yo, thank God for all the bitches I got to fuck. Like, nah, what? I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's crazy. 
I'm not saying thank God for all the bitches I had to fuck. I'm just saying. Rewind this shit back when y'all see this. This is literally what that nigga just said. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, all I'm saying is not what he said, <laughs> but I just I just know like I've had my fun, my fair share. Okay. Right? And nowadays I start looking, I start dealing with uh thing in my mind, like, all right, cool. You, you you can't just be living life to just fuck. It gotta have more value mm-hmm. to it, right? People in general have to have more value to it. And one thing I never used to do, I never used to do this. I never actually used to condoms? No, this, this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna, I never, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm I gonna never, stop. I never actually used to try to find the value in a person. I never even cared about her value. I never cared about like what type of value she actually brought to the table. She might have been a a plug, or she might have been somebody who could really help position you in life, or she might have been a real asset. And I never even thought to care about her being an asset. I only thought about pussy. Mm. So nowadays. I literally like. I still want the pussy. Don't get fucked up. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you but, for keeping it real. But Yo. I think about. I think about the person and what type of like. Would she be an asset? Would she be like of some type of value in my life? And I look. I think about that now because before I so never. So that comes never, first, then the pussy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yo. Yes. The value in a person comes first, and then the pussy. Because I mean, think about it. I mean, now you just now this is what this is why I keep calling you a liar. Why? Because you cannot. Why I gotta be a liar? Why? Why must I be a you liar? You gotta. You gotta tell me what this looks like. I want to see the value in her, and then the pussy. Like, what does that look like? I mean, because now you're telling me like, oh, she could have been a plug. She could have been a blah 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 blah. She could have been all of this and that. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. You actually might miss out a real blessing, or you might miss out a a, a real dope person, a real like person in your life by just chasing pussy. Is what I'm saying. So, so all when I'm you saying figure to you out is all the shit that makes her dope, and then you just want the pussy. No, you no, no, miss no, out no. On it anyway, no. Li- listen, to what I'm saying. I'm not saying you just want the person. I'm just talking about in general. Like I feel like feeling who the person is first. And then the pussy, regardless of if we just fucking out, regardless if we never fucking out. Like, we might never fuck. I might, I want the pussy. I might try to holler at you. And let's say, let's say after, after you know, having certain conversations, it just never go there. But, you know, me and you real good. We cool. And, and you know, there's things that we could really, you know, do something together. We might be able to, you know, start a business, or start something, get some money together, anything. Who so, knows? So let me ask you this. When, um... If a chick you see, you want to get the pussy from, right? Mm-hmm. But she not trying to give you the pussy. Uh-huh. When does it fizzle out for you? Like, when do you start to fall back? Um, from the pussy, like, cause we this nigga remember he want he chasing the value first. No, I'm chasing the value in the in the person. Like, I want right. I want to be able to like know who the person is and like understand like you know what that person has. This nigga not. This nigga do this shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he sleep. <laughs> I want to like no, no, like you know what type? Because we all bring some type of value, even in friendships, right? Right. Even, I think even in friendships, we yes, should all bring when do you, value in our when friendship. When do you fall back from wanting the pussy and just focusing on the value? Um. Once, once I understand the like, once I understand like, there's no real like, like uh, intimate chemistry, like as far as like a, uh, I don't know, like like a dating type of chemistry. Once I know that they ain't that, then mm. I'm 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 cool. We could just be regular. So how long that take you about? You would say if you I don't know to, every situation. Every situation is different. Every situation warrants something different. I think um, you know, sometimes it could be a month. Sometimes it could be you know, even after the first date, you realize like, nah, this ain't this ain't what it is. But you know, she she you know she asked. Are you going out she with cool. niggas just because you hungry? I hate that. I'm just asking because that's a real question. Though. That's a de- that's a real question. But women really do go out with niggas just because they want to go eat at a restaurant. I've done seen a woman in her phone food date one, food date two. Like, Damn, that's I literally a know of. I literally know a girl who said, "Yo, I'm hungry. I'm about to call this nigga so he could take me to get some food." So let me ask you something. 
you take our shorty out on her date and she end up bringing a friend, are you expected to pay for the friends too? No. Kev? Am I expect? Am I expected to? Are you Are you expected to? And are you going to? I might. And to both. I might, right? You might what? Pay? pay. I might pay. Okay. But that would absolutely, absolutely be for a woman that I'm dealing with, like... That's not that's not just a fling. We just hang. Not out. no fling on no first date. Like you bring your homegirl. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. It's without telling me. That's crazy. <laughs> that's why I said no. If she hit me on a text like, "Yo, like I'm on the way. I got my homegirl with me." Oh, I bet. I'm prepared for that. Like, mm-hmm. not I, not we link up and you walk in the spot with your homegirl. Now I'm sitting I there think- like. I think I think it, it'll be gentleman like for the man to pay. Yeah. However, if he don't want to pay, that's his fucking choice. Sure. What's your, what's what's definition of a gentleman? I'm just saying, like your definition of a gentleman. Yes. I think you know when a man is is willing to be um accommodating. Yeah, accommodating. Sure. You know, like accommodating. Like it's like I, I don't have a problem with paying for a girl and, and her home girl. However. Mm. I don't want to feel obligated either, though. Don't make me feel Just like... Just don't push me into a corner yeah, where I like, do Don't make me shit. feel like it's on me, you know, and y'all just going to run this shit like up. Like, you made the decision. Like, yeah, like, nah. I ain't asked for her to be here. Mm-hmm. She came here with you. So, if anything, you obligated to take care of her. If if anything, not me. I don't know Shorty from a hole in the wall. She, she ain't giving me no pussy. I knew this nigga was about to say that. <laughs> She ain't. Yo, I knew. I'm sitting here like I can't wait to hear who gonna say it first. I'm saying it. She ain't giving me no pussy, but but I I will hold it down. Like I still make sure everybody drink, eat, whatever that thing is. But I don't want to feel like obligated. Like oh, cause because I'm the man. Yeah, I think that, she gotta tell me. She gotta prep me for something. Yeah, like, like that. you gotta you gotta prep me. Like y'all, I'm on the way with my. I'm bringing my homegirl. All right, cool. And let me you. say okay, cool. Got you. Or nah, like, like I'm out. Like <laughs> now nah, I'm good. Now nah, I'm good. Don't <laughs> yeah, come. Yeah, because I I think I think that to me that's 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 first of all that's corny for the other girl to even want to tag along and want to be able to like leech off of the other girl date. That's corny for the for, for that especially that, that if she know a homegirl don't have no intentions on dealing with this nigga. That's crazy. Chicks be chicks don't look at niggas as licks. No, hundred percent. Of course they do. Uh-huh. All right, so let me ask you this. We was talking about do women listen? Do you feel like guys are appreciated? Appreciating are appreciated? No, hell no. In the world? Hell no. Mm. Hell no. I could prove it to y'all. How? Mother's Day come around? Oh, this is a good one. No, real talk. Mother's Day come around. Father's Day's coming up. I'm a dad, so I ain't gonna lie. Mother's Day come around. Everybody, regardless if it's a man or woman... You gonna go all out for mama, hands down, mm-hmm. right? Even even people that's not that person's mother, they show other mothers like that love, like right. yo, happy Mother's Day, whatever. Like the the love for the mothers is fucking crazy. is undeniable, like hands down. Father's Day, come around. First of all, let's be clear, niggas don't even really acknowledge Father's Day like that. Let's 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 be real. We we know it's Father's Day and people say Happy Father's Day, but I think it be stopping with the Happy Father's Day. Like niggas ain't going all out. Yo, Happy Father's Day, bro, and that's that's where it stops. Mm. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that I'm a father. I think that's. Am I right or wrong? That's the extent of it. That, sometimes. All right, so what? What's you gonna get your mom? A bouquet of flowers, a, a this that, the gift or whatever. You if if you if your baby mother she going to get you going to get her everything. What what dad get? What's Kev, you have children. What's um the best fathers they gift you got to date? Fathers, the best fathers they gift I ever got. Hmm. Matter of fact, I got a drone for my y'all know I've been into like cameras and shit. I got a drone. Mhm. For fathers. Day. That's dope. That That's fire. fire. That's dope. That was fire, no lie. But when you ask are our men appreciated, I think the question is, are we appreciated enough? I do think they got some appreciation for us. You can't say they don't appreciate mm-hmm. us at all. Mm-hmm. But are we appreciated enough? Yeah, I feel like 
the extent of a mother being appreciated and a father appreci- appreciation never going to be on the same, same level. Mother's always higher than the father. I also, on the average, on I the do. Average. I ain't gonna but, lie. I do think women and niggas might kill me for this, but I do think women deserve more. Explain because they push a kid out, yeah, and they almost lie. die, bro, and they can't almost die. I mean. That like shit, they risking their life. That shit is really out. different. Yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I that never shit, seen it, so I don't, I don't I know. Seen but it. I heard like, that shit that is really crazy. like. Yeah, it take yeah. it take the other shit that women already got to deal with to another level. Level, yeah. Because it's like, damn, you already got to deal with certain shit on a monthly basis. Um, your body's doing different things all yeah. the time, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then for nine months, your body's doing a whole nother different thing. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. They. Give her them flowers and all the other shit too. Nah, she deserve it. I'm not gonna she lie. She deserve it. I, it's crazy. She definitely deserve it hands down. I carried too. the kid first, but she she bared it. You carried it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you did your thing. That shit is crazy. So 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 pretty much it goes to the same what they say, uh mommy's baby, daddy's maybe. Yeah, I gotta sheesh. I mean, I'm a really active father, but I think Regardless of what, that's mommy's baby. Yeah. It's it's crazy, bro. I, I'm just replaying childbirth in my head right now. Yeah. So once you seen that, you had like a totally different respect for women? Is that a thing? First of all, when I found out that I was having a kid, I was kind of like, that shit just, it just flipped for me. Mm. How? I was just like, I don't know. Like what, what changed? Like what changed in like, you? It just, I automatically was just like, I'm last on the priority list. Mm. Oh, like you put that on you put that on yourself. Kind automatically, of I was okay. just like, I don't give a fuck what I need or what I'm supposed to be doing right now or what I thought I was supposed to be doing right now. Mm-hmm. Locked in, like this got to be, this got to go right. So, so on that list, is it her then the kids, or is it kids um, then it's her? I think it's, I think it's even in that in that moment. It's kind of like you got to be okay, so the kid could be okay. You know what I'm saying? While she's pregnant, you mean? Yeah. When I found out you, you you're carrying a child. Okay, so now so now the kid is out. Who's first? Um, again, it's it's kind of you, cause I don't know how like everybody's situation, right? But like, I'm only speaking from your, your from my perspective. She yeah. she gotta be okay for that kid to be okay. Correct. Cause she set the tone. She set the tone, so it's like if so, she not so, okay, so it's mommy first and then and then kids. She just got she has to be good. Got she got to be set up a certain way. Got it. And that's my responsibility. Would you feel the same way even if like even even if you're not with her like you it feel don't the matter. same way? Don't together, matter together or not like that's my responsibility to make sure she good. She got to be good. Unless the kid is going to be with me. I right, so now so now to what extent? Like when you say she got to be good to what extent? Now let's say you're not with your child's mother, right? And this go for you too. This is just, you know, question. Mm-hmm. You're not with your child's mother. And um, at what extent do you go now to say, okay, I'm going to make sure she's good out? What's the furthest extent? Do you make sure all her bills is paid? You're going to pay all her bills? You're going to pay her rent? I think where your child lays his head, her head, is is your responsibility. So what happens when you got two or three? They're your kids. What you mean? Yeah, but now, so so that means that the mother, regardless, don't have n- no responsibility to pay rent? I believe, and it's, this is just me, I believe that's your responsibility as a man. Like, Because you could just say, okay, well, you had two or three. You kept having kids with this woman. Yeah, nigga, stop fucking. Use like, that's condom. your responsibility. That's the thing. No, no, I'm not talking about two or three with her. I'm saying, let's say you got it's two. It's your, with, you, that's on you, bro. That's, that's the decisions you, you made. Pay you making you. the decision to have so, kids so with other I, women. Like, so, so because I made this, because I had two women, right? Mm-hmm. Two different situations, two different occasions. Because you had raw sex twice. You didn't understand and, what you was and, doing and, the first and, time. No, so you, you knew what you was doing. No, you knew what you was doing. Okay. You you just didn't give a fuck. Facts. You gotta eat that. You gotta so now what your perspective And I think niggas be bugging when they act like So your perspective, yo, you feel she, like it's not my job. It's dead your job, bro. When you say not their job, what they what you mean? To provide for the woman that 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 raises your child? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it's to. dead it, your job. Especially like, if you're not there day to day, you have you're to You're not gonna be there day to day. So you feel it's not like, what happened. So you feel like if 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 you have a woman 
and you and her don't work out, y'all have a kid, mm-hmm. you paying her rent. Would I pay the full rent? See, I don't that's know. what we talking about. Would you I'll pay, pay her rent? It. I'll pay most of it. No, would you pay her rent? I think that's a question based off of your where situation. you are financially. Yeah, like situation. That's a situational thing. Like where you are financially, what, what it allows you to do, sure, but I really think it's your responsibility. So it's that man's responsibility to make sure. I, I so so I do I do get that concept because if you if, if you're not with her right, and you don't want her to live with you, you got to figure it out. Where your kids gonna stay? That, yeah, that's the key. Okay, so what if so what if the kid could stay with you? If the kid stays with you, then she got to no, figure no, it out. No, no, I'm saying sure. what if the kid could stay with you, but she don't want the kid to go with you? I'm those are those are things that I can't really. Like. So so if me so so if me and her break up, right? If me and her break up, and we got a kid, we got a little beautiful girl, right? Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, yo, listen, you know. Let's say we living together, right? Mm-hmm. And I say, you know what? I'm a, I'm a move, right? I, you could keep the crib. Mm-hmm. I'm out. I'm out of here, right? Now, if I don't want to continue paying for that rent, and I'm gonna go and go get my own crib and pay for my own rent, right? I think you gotta set her up to, cause can she pay the rent? Is the is the first question. Right, that's key. That's a, that's a you got to ask yourself that. Can she pay the rent? Because nine times out of ten, y'all got the crib, where well, y'all was trying to pay it together, or you paying most of it, or, or you whatever. was paying well, for it, or whatever. Well, like. nine times, I mean, me personally, and I'm gonna speak from like my real perspective. I would pay the rent, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm with her, if she with me. Any girl, any woman would live with me nine times out of ten, I'm gonna pay the rent, right? Right. So I'm does she pay a, any other bills? See, that's what I was about to say. I'm more of a, I'm more of a. Uh, I like to call it. Um, I take federal, she takes state type of person. Mm-hmm. Like I give me, give me all the big shit. She could take all the small shit, mm-hmm. and and the small things, she should be able to at least handle. Now, I don't. I, first of all, I don't even really want to be with no woman that can't even take care of the big shit though, mm-hmm. because my mm-hmm. mindset is. God forbid I die or anything happens to me physically to where I can't provide like I used to, mm-hmm. I would want her to be able to say, I I got it from here. So how much money you want your woman to make? She just got to be able to pay the bills on her own. How much money you want your woman to make? Again. I, I can't really put a number amount on that. It depends on, you know, it depends on where we at in life. Like, like for example. My bad. Like for example, niggas. For, for niggas. example, right? I just need her to be able to make enough money to provide for the kid and and take care of the household. Okay. So she might never have to spend that, but as long as she's doing something to be able to do that now, I, I hear this question a lot. What if you know you got a, a, a stay at home mom, right? Like wife. Like mm-hmm. what if she's like a stay at home wife? Now that's a that's a that's a different scenario. How y'all feel about that though? That's about what I'm about to say. That's a, that's a different wife. scenario. She stay home because we got kids. Yeah, I mean, then it, that makes sense. For how long though? What you mean for how long? For how long? I know, like a lot of people, they don't want to. Like a lot of women don't want to go back to work until their kid is like five or some shit like I that. Think, that's the thing. Again, I think once a kid is brought into the situation, bro. <laughs> Cause like right now I'm having I'm struggling with do I want my kid to go to school? You want to homeschool? Him? Right, like that's my that's the struggle I'm having right now. Like, do I want him to go to school? Cause do I want to um have to vaccinate my kid all kinds of different ways mm-hmm. so he can go to school? Or like, do I think my kid is safe in school? Like all of, all of those questions are the shit, the things that's, that's those going are, on. Those with you are right real now. questions that's going on yeah. in my real life, right? So yeah. like. If if she decide that she never want to go to um, work again because she want to homeschool him, yeah, then I don't see nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong. With, I don't see nothing wrong with that. But you got to be able to be right to do that financially. I mean, well, I'm I'm pretty much that's pretty much what my life look like anyway. Mm-hmm. 
So it's just a matter of like, is he going to go to school or not? Yeah, what we doing? Yeah, like. And yo, and, and see, and that's, and that's the next key, right? That made me start valuing and looking at the value of the person before the sex. Because I I start thinking later on in my life, like, yo, what if I get this bitch pregnant? Then, like, what that's going to look like for, for our future, right? Because now, yeah, I could think about the sex right now at this moment, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say, you know, all I want is the pussy. And well, let's say, what if there's one of them horny nights, haunted nights where a nigga <laughs> went in raw, right? That's it's a real haunted. situation. Yeah, that haunted. That's haunted why I call it real. Haunted, haunted nights. Haunted. One of them haunted Ooh. nights, right? So one of them haunted nights, a nigga just went in raw. Right and now, boom, she pregnant. Mm-hmm. Now, like, what if this this same chick that get pregnant is a is a chick who ain't who ain't you know who ain't situated to a point to where not even just financially like mentally mm-hmm. like able to like move and do certain things the way it needs to be done because now she got your kid. So what if you what if you go on raw? It's one of them haunted nights. And then you be like, nah, she's not it. And then you actually get abortion, but she's not with it. Hmm. That's right, deep, I'm going to tell man. you right now, relationship damaged right away. That's it's, deep. For sure. That's deep. That's deep. It's, it's going to be hard to repair. You can't repair that. And that's whether she get it or not. You just can't repair. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking feel like, I'm a, clearly that never happened to me before, but. You've never asked a woman to do that? Yes. 100%. Oh. And they did it. And what and what is that relationship? What was that relationship like? It never really worked out afterwards. I think I think the the two times that it did happen to me, I feel like she has resentment towards me. Of course, of course, she definitely had resentment towards me. But I don't want to. I don't want to feel like you know. I I I made an executive decision. In my head, now she didn't necessarily have to agree with my executive decision. Correct. That's her body. Mm-hmm. But the, when I made the decision, I felt like, yo, maybe it's best that we not do this is because nine times out of ten, if I ever really say that, then I already know in my mind that there's some inconsistencies with, with our future. I already know, like, yo, it might or might not be a chance that we gonna stay together. Cause r- real talk, a nigga can say whatever he want, but we know kids course, right? But I'm I'm I could be at my brokest, right? I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna tell a woman not to have the kid because I don't got no money right now. Because the reality of it is. That kid got to take approximately eight to nine, ten months to come out, and that should be more enough time you for me time to, to figure it out, to figure nigga. it out, and get my shit together, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So that that shouldn't be like and the no money deal. shouldn't be the problem, right? If I'm really telling this girl I don't want her to have this baby, it's because I know deep down inside I don't really want to be with her. True. Mm. Tough. And that's just what it is. That's that's my way of telling her. I really don't really want to be with you. So now this might be left, but why do we fuck women we don't want to be with? Because we just fucking horn dogs. We that's that's like, and I know each and every one of us in here has done that before. I have for sure, and the reason I've done it is because past time, or I just want to bust a nut to be all the way real. I mean, you could bust a nut by jerking off. I don't want to do that. I want to fuck pussy. But um, I ain't mad fucking, at that. fucking a chick that I don't want to be with is that toxic in today's society? Yes, that's it toxic. is. Yes, it is. That's toxic. You just oh, can't lead them on. It? You can't what? You just can't. Lead that's them. my phone. You try your best not to lead them on. Probably. Yeah, let me grab my phone real quick. That's one of his friends. That's one of his friends. His homegirls. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, 
I just feel like when you first of all, I want to ask y'all a question. Before I say what I want to say, I want to ask y'all a question. Have have y'all ever told a woman like or try to encourage her to get an abortion? I have, and the relationship was never the same. No, nah, I don't think I ever had. I don't think I ever had to go through that. <laughs> Thank God. I have the relationship was never the same. Out of um, some abortion money before. Hey, break that down. Let's wow. not let's not go over that. I never that. knew that. Yeah. <laughs> how much? How much you pay? I paid like four fifty. Woo! She caught you. But how, but how you know she caught you? She sent you the fake. I know she dope? caught me. Her homegirl told me. Ooh. Later on, hmm. when I was fucking her homegirl, that's, that's a different story. So wait, you end up so they starting... wasn't really friends. Obviously not. Uh-huh. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's another topic, right? So there. hot. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to the the finesse part. Yeah. So did she send you like what did she send you to make you really like believe she ain't like she really me shit? This is this how I'm, I was young, bro. I was dumb, young, naive. Got you, mad young. So I'm like, damn, I'm I wild out, right? Mm-hmm. She said she was pregnant, and um, I was just like panicking. I'm panicking. I'm like. Damn, my mom's going to wild me up, son. So <laughs> that's all I'm thinking at the time. Like, my mom's going to wild me up. So she like, um, she like, this is how much it costs. And I'm like, this is how much what costs? I'm young, bro. I'm like, this is how much what costs? Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm not keeping this baby. I said, oh, all right, cool. Like, I right, bet. She told me how much it costs. I gave her the bread. I'm like, yo, when we going to go? And she's like, nah, I'm going with my homegirl tomorrow. Oh no, nah. nah. That sound like the finesse. So you I was like, "What you mean? Like, how you plan to go with your homegirl? You going with me? Yeah." She like, "Nah, just um, well, this. So here's the twi- plot twist. The plot twist is she like, yo, I don't feel comfortable going with you. You got a girlfriend, mm. okay? You had a girl at the time, right? So I'm like, so she got you right there. She kind of had me right there, like. So I'm like, nah, fuck that. I still want to go. She's like, nah, I'm not going with you. I'm going with my homegirl. So I'm like, all right, whatever, bet. I ain't never, I never heard from her again. Mm. With, she ran off on, with 450. Like, congratulations, you know what I'm saying? But, but I, I, you know, so she wasn't pregnant. She was never pregnant. But you did wild out and and nutted in her, or you was fucking. Wrong? I don't think so. I don't. I definitely don't. I don't think I nutted her at all. Like, yo, I. That's but crazy. in my brain, I'm like, do you really have to to get somebody pregnant? No, no. Pre-com. So that's me getting pregnant. Pre-com. So that's where I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe I buck because I know in my brain, I'm just like, nah, I know I, ain't, I didn't. Uh, I was mad young. I wasn't. I was scary at that time, so I know I didn't. But I'm like, shit, I still bugged out. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I was terrified, bro. It's crazy because I, I actually um, went with the woman one time to get an abortion, mm-hmm. and and. What's your what's your mental like when you in that process? Um, I had mixed emotions because I mean, I was a, a man with no kids, mm-hmm. right? Um, who I was sitting thinking like, yo, it would be kind of cool, right, to have a have a kid. But then on on the flip side, it's like if we do have this kid, then you know. This is what my life gonna be like, like hands down. Facts. This this is this is what it is. Mm-hmm. And I, a, a part of me, low key wanted to have it, but the the part of me that's like that really took over was the part of me that's like thought about like I, right, now you want the kid, but you can't have the kid without the mama. Facts. Right. Package deal. So. The part that, like, when I thought about having the mama part, when I thought about having the mama part, um, that part superseded. So now you press the issue for her to get rid of it? I, I don't want to say I pressed the issue. But I did. I did, uh. Encourage it. So what so what was so bad about her that you'd be like, eh, I can't see myself selling that one for you at that time? Um It wasn't really so much about what was so bad about her.
Or what was it? I used to. I gotta take a lean. Can I pause? Look, so. I used to back. I just wanted to know if you regretted it. Um, Did I regret her doing it? Yeah. No. I didn't regret her doing it. Not, not going through it. I didn't regret it. We always have the most serious part of the conversation, like, at the end. Shit be wild in the beginning, niggas be dying yeah, laughing, yeah. and then this nigga be, we go to some dark ass shit. I didn't regret it. I just, mm -hmm. I never, did I think about it afterwards? A little bit, a very little bit, but after a while, I just, like, I got over it. Huh. Like, it is what it is. Time moved on, and it ran its course. And we ran ours, yo. 